Um, guys, I think we have a problem with the wheel horse. I was just driving on the trail, coming downhill, I pushed the clutch in so it would go a little faster, and then this started happening. Oh, that sounds so terrible. I'm hoping that's just the belt. I'm afraid to drive it. I, well, it could be the belt. I don't know, though. That doesn't sound right. So I brought the John Deere up here so I can get my tool trailer and also get my good camera. Of course, it's fogging up again. Because of the humid summer down here in the south, I'll let it clear up before we start working on the wheel horse. All right, so we're over here at the wheel horse with my tools in another trailer. It's a bigger trailer because I'm carrying the generator with me because there is no electricity out here. And in case I have to use an electric tool, I can just start this thing up, plug it in, and hopefully the belt is the issue. I'm hoping that it's not the internals of the transmission. All right, so I have access to the drop belt. I took all the covers off. I'm going to leave them off of there, and if there's no sound, I'm just going to put the covers in the back of the trailer and drive it like this. And then when I get back to the house, I'm going to put it back together. Let's hope that it will not make that horrible sound again. It's not supposed to be spinning still. We'll put it in reverse. Okay, that is a good sign. I don't hear it making that noise. A horrible noise. Alright, let's put it in third gear. The gear is making noise in. I can't tell you how relieved I am. It's not making that horrible noise. Maybe it was just the belt. This belt badly needs to be replaced. I don't know if you saw how loose it was. Well, it's not horribly loose, but it needs to be replaced. And the parking brake needs to be fixed too. It's kind of slipping as well. I did see a comment on one of my videos. I don't remember who the person was or where I saw it, but they said that there is transmission fluid inside here. And they say there's a bushing in there that are impossible to find in good condition or whatever. And he said that I needed to change it out and put new fluid in there. I didn't know this thing had transmission fluid, but I will definitely keep that in my mind. We're also going to do an oil change on it soon. And also the part, the friction disc. You remember what the friction disc I was talking about? Well, it came in, but as I was about to make a video, I noticed that the friction disc was too small. It wouldn't fit over here. I got it off of Amazon. It was like $12, and it was the wrong size. It was a cheapo, like a Chinese knockoff. So, so now, we're going to have to order another part. But I do have some bad news about that. I'll explain that in another video. I took it apart basically for nothing, I guess. Other than to find out that there was no issue with it at all. I'm glad there's not an issue with it. So now, let's bring it back to the house and put it back together. I'm going to stick it in gear before I move because you can see it was still spinning. Alright, we got all parts. Ready to go. I'll keep it kind of slow because there's some loose screws in that trailer. Alright, so the wheel horse made it back up here in one piece. Actually, in a few pieces. The other pieces are back here in the trailer. But anyway, it made it up here alright. No issues. Except for the belt jumping off every now and then. Alright, so after about an hour of surfing on the web, looking at, uh, parts for the wheel horse i actually had the idea to restore the wheel horse i wanted to see how expensive it was and it's probably going to cost me about 600 dollars total to be able to fully restore the wheel horse to brand new looking condition that's a little steep for me right now because i want to buy other things at the moment but once I do have the money, I mean in about three or four months from now, I may consider starting a restoration project on the wheel horse. But I do want to let you know ahead of time that I have plans to restore the wheel horse this year. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this. This is going to be, this is going to make some incredible videos. I can't wait to start doing it. And just like that, the wheel horse is put back together. Let's go ahead and move it back and forth just to see if it sounds right. If it does, that means the job is complete and we can end the video. Uh -oh. 
All right, guys, I just figured it out. You see where that, that flap right there is located? The belt was dragging underneath that. That's why we were hearing that sound. So I fixed that issue. That's all it was. It wasn't necessary for me to take that whole thing apart. What a waste of time. But at least it's the wheel horse. I would have absolutely hated doing this if it was a John Deere. You all know how hard it is to get to the drive belt on the John Deere. It's not fun. So everything's put up, everything's running just fine. We got the wheel horse fixed. It was just only a minor issue with the drive belt, but still and all, it's fixed now. So I will explain to you the bad news about the wheel horse in another video soon. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately. There's just been nothing to record. I will be uploading another video after this one in a few days. I don't know exactly when, but I will get it up. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. If you're stopping by for the first time and you wish to follow the channel, please subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.